Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Production. Now I've got a DVD review and this time around I'm reviewing the 1978 version of Dawn of the Dead. Now I remember watching this film when I wasn't 18 years old. Uh, it was a late night and uh, telling in my room, flicking through the channels and I found this film. I can't remember how old I was but I don't remember being of 18 years old because I remember I was younger than 18 when I got it on DVD. Um, however, this was the film that started all the zombie love genre off for me. Um, it was the first one that I saw on telly and I thought, wow, uh, who's this guy, George A. Romero, and why the hell is he making such an amazing zombie film? Just so the story is, there's a zombie outbreak, there's a house that's being cleared out by sort of army slash police presence, and uh, two friends go into the house and they're killing a load of people. Uh, they manage to uh, escape uh, the carnage, the horror. They cross paths with two people and they both seem to be news reporters slash producers. They're in the TV business and uh, they've got a helicopter. And they're flying around trying to find somewhere to live or somewhere to get out of a uh, bad place really. bad place in which the zombies have overtaken America. Yeah, the TV reporter, he states how bad it is. It's spread across the whole country. Uh, the, the, the friends, the loved ones, they're all eating each other. The fact that the numbers are growing immensely. Things like that. And uh, as you go over the helicopter view and they pan over the area and over the the land of where they're flying over and you can see zombies walking and uh, that's a pretty cool scene to see really. zombies just walking the fields and uh, how far the helicopter flies and how far the pandemic has gone but eventually they stumble across a shopping mall mall being a shopping center uh, it's an american word and that's where they hold up they manage to get in uh, through the roof and they managed to make it secure they put all the shutters down they put vans in well lorries in front of the doors on the outside they put off all the zombies inside the shopping mall and uh, yeah they clear it out and they make it their own that's kind of become an iconic part of film horror history I know in the latest remake Dawn of the Dead the same title they uh, go to the shopping mall in that film and uh, in the English Shaun of the Dead which I've done a review on uh, they go to the pub. Instead of going to the shopping mall as Dawn of the Dead did, Shaun of the Dead did the British version and go to the pub. Which could make sense in a way. It's it's an awesome film. Time seems to go by. Uh, at one point they're growing flower, well, they're growing vegetables and they're growing old in the shopping mall and uh, yeah, it seems to be as though years have passed and they've been living there for a long time so it seemed to have worked well that's what the impression gives they don't actually say you know five years later or anything like that in all honesty it's it's a very good film at one point they're fighting more than just zombies the film does seem to go on uh, like i've mentioned for a long time like the years seem to pass by so it seems to as though they've done the right thing they've hold up pretty well um they don't seem to get attacked by zombies so the storyline is pretty good survival they survive in a shopping mall and it happens to work pretty well. Now, because it is the 1978 version, uh, the makeup effects aren't great. Um, I wasn't alive in the 70s, so I can only speculate that back then the makeup was top quality stuff. There are. The attacks on the humans are pretty good. I'm not going to lie, when a zombie takes a chunk out of someone, it does look pretty good. It looks like they've taken a massive chunk out of their body. So, death slash makeup effects, pretty damn cool. There are some good death scenes. They do go all out, really. Um, a lot of the prosthetics seem to be rubber. So, uh, yeah, they don't mind being ripped and torn and shredded apart, which is good. Uh, it's a zombie film, so you want to see limbs being torn and uh, flesh being eaten. There is one good quality scene that stands out for many many years and uh, that is that at one point the helicopter is being refuelled. Flyboy, I believe it is, who's filling up the helicopter is uh, getting shouted at by one of the army guys. But he can't hear him because of the rotors and a zombie stands on the box and you almost miss it because of how fast it is. But 
the zombie stands on the box and he gets his head cut off and it's so so quick that you you don't you don't see the blood pouring down his face and in all honesty it's an awesome scene it was real the rotors were real the death of the zombie was pretty cool i mean he gets killed by a rotary blade on a helicopter awesome death scene but it is dawn of the dead it is the the film that started it all off for me the film that started off the love of the horror zombie genre uh, if you want to watch one of the greatest horror films ever then I do certainly recommend The Dawn of the Dead from 1978 uh, it was really the film that started everything off the makeup like I've mentioned is not great the makeup effects aren't great however back in 1978 it was awesome so you've got to bear that in mind when you watch the film I can't recommend it enough if you like zombie films of today's standards then you must watch this and go back in time and just see where it all started really and uh, this is the film that started it all off yep can't re recommend it enough Dawn of the Dead amazing film 1978 so bear that in mind however love the film if you love zombies then this is a must watch for you also guys use the code TOBYWTD get you 20% off any We The Devoted gear all the links down below but thank you very much for watching my review of George A. Romero's The Dawn of the Dead from 1978